So let's take a look and see how easy it is to get started with the runtime SDKs. Here we are at the developer site, developers.arcgis.com. We'll jump into the docs. I'm going to work straight with the iOS SDK. On the left-hand side, we can see a bunch of sections. Uh, we can go to get started, but I'm going to just jump straight into install and set up. And we have Swift Package Manager, Cocoa Pods, and manual install options. So let's just take this URL for getting the uh, Swift Package Manager set up, and we'll jump over to Xcode and create a new project. Create an app, call it Hack Test imaginatively. Find a place to save it. And then let's jump in and add a package dependency. So we'll take that URL. And we're happy with that version. And we'll just add that to our project. Okay, so now all we have to do is jump into our view controller and we're going to import ArcGIS. You can see it's already auto completed. We'll go over to our storyboard. And of course, you might want to do this with SwiftUI, but I'm using storyboards. And I'm just going to add a simple UI view, drop it into my main view. I'll set all the constraints to have it fill that view. And then over here on the right, I'm going to set its type to AGS map view. And when we open the assistant editor, I can now just drag that over and make a connection into my code with the map view. Okay, so let's just open the view controller on its own now. We've got a handle over to the map view UI component. I'm just going to create a map, drop it into my app, and display it. So we'll pick a base map style, and let's just say navigation. And now I'll set the map views map property to this map we just created. Okay, that's good to go, but we still need to use an API key. So I'm going to jump over back into my dashboard here. We're looking at install and setup. Come back to the top and jump to my dashboard. I'm going to API keys, create myself a new API key. Now by default, API keys give you access to base maps. So for right now, this is all we need to do. We don't need to see it. I can just copy it. We'll jump back to Xcode and we'll set that in. So we've got something called a runtime environment and all we need to do is set that API key on there. Now we can run the app in a simulator and we'll see the map show up. And here we have a fully interactive map. We can double tap to zoom in. You can use two fingers to rotate it. And this is accessing our Arceus platform online base maps all the way down to building level. So with this, you've got your basis for any kind of mapping application that you want to build.